Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. In this clip we're going to look at a GCSE style question and this question is about um, designing products and looking at materials and ergonomics. So we've got um, question one, look at the image below of a design for a barbecue fork or a barbecue tool uh, made from stainless steel. So we've got here this image of a, a barbecue tool, just a plain piece of there. If we actually look down here at the bottom, this is sometimes useful to do, it says the main part of the fork has been stamped from a sheet of three millimeter stainless steel. Explain the choice of the material from that part. So sometimes it's quite useful to just look down and see the second part of the question where it might give you some more information. So we know this is stamped from three millimeter steel. Uh, stainless steel and it says give two reasons why the fork should not be used without a handle um, explain your reasons so it's quite a simple question this is um, it says here two marks two marks two marks it might just be one mark each but it 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 wouldn't be more than um, four to eight marks so we've got um, reason one so what would be a reason we say you might burn your hand in years um, you might burn your hand in use. I'm trying to write as clearly as possible here. Um, so obviously stainless steel is a good conductor. If you leave this onto the barbecue at all, or if it's left, you know, this end in the heat, the heat would travel up here, you might burn your hand. So explanation explanation is the fork is made use manufactured um, from stain less steel um, which is a good conductor of heat. So this is quite a common format for these type of GCSE questions where you've got reason, explanation. So you might burn your hand, the explanation is it's a, con a good conductor. So um, reason two, what could be a problem? Well if we look at the edges here, they're quite sharp and we've been told that it's pressed so that would be really quite a sharp edge there from a pressed piece of um, stainless steel. So we can say, reason two, you might cut your hand. And explanation, so as we've said, um, the handle part of the fork has been stamped with sharp um, edges Or we could say corners. Okay, so um, see, I'm even I'm writing in short sentences in here. I am writing in sentences. I'm not just putting single word answers. Um, so reason you might cut your hand. Reason two and explanation: the handle part of the fork um, has been stamped with sharp edges, corners. So now we go on to this part, part B, and it says, as we said before, the main part of the fork has been stamped from 3mm stainless steel. It's in the choice of this part. Um, uh, this material is durable. That means it lasts well, it doesn't degrade. Um, and easy to clean and we could add stain less steel 
is rust resistant. We say rust resistant rather than rust proof because stainless steel eventually would, it does kind of, it can rust, but it's rust resistant. So there we go, we'd get our two marks from there because we've got one mark from durable and easy clean, one mark from stainless steel is rust resistant. Okay, so the next part, um, part two of this question, and here it says in the box below, sketch your own design for a barbecue fork. Add notes to explain your design, you will get marks for ergonomically shaped handle and quality of your communication. Um, I have actually made a, another clip about the ergonomics of um, uh, ergonomics of barbecue tools. I'll try and put a link in there um, in the description with that. And for this, you need to draw the barbecue fork. If it says notes and um, sketch and notes, so see the words there, sketch and notes. To get these full eight marks, you need to include a drawing and annotation. So for this, here's one that I've already done. It's just a little quicker. And you can see I've drawn my barbecue fork. And the notes that I've added are main part of fork cut from three millimeter stainless steel, turned hardwood ends. So it's important that you add the names of materials in here don't use generic terms like wood, metal and plastic. I said shaped hand grip from PP, polypropylene thermoplastic, hook to hang up when not in use. So I've explained my design there, I've drawn an ergonomically shaped handle, there's good quality communication so that will get me the eight marks. So there we have it, a GCSE question on designing products. There's the full walkthrough. Thanks for watching Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology.